Hello, folks. It's uh, future me here. This has turned out to be quite a long video. So, hey, if you're going to watch it all, that'd be awesome. Thanks. I'd really appreciate it. We cover quite a lot. Um, we end up sorting out a whole load of cow feed for the rest of the year and bedding. So, we get a load of straw bales sorted. We get some sugar beet in, which is going to go in the TMR. We get the TMR sorted. So the TMR mixing silo is in and working at this point. Um, and we get a whole load of grass work done. And I buy a whole load of new stuff. Um, so really appreciate it if you do actually get through to watching all of it. But do understand if you don't. I just got carried away. It took me two and a half days to record this because of all the random stuff that we end up doing. Uh, TMR, totally too many random things is totally what this video is about. Uh, I do hope you enjoy it and I'll let you get into watching it now. Thanks. Welcome back to West Texas, folks. I've not progressed time quite as much as I had planned to in the last video because the game has tickled my addiction for contracts. We have a contract to harvest the beets on field 17. The excess we'll get from these will be good for feeding to the cows, so it seems silly to not do it. Um, it's been a pretty awful day weather-wise here in Texas. It's due to rain all day, but that shouldn't stop us harvesting the beets. I've picked up three more harvesting contracts as well, um, but we need the weather to be a little bit better, so I'll probably do those next game day. Grass has grown a fair bit on our fields, but the, the new grass field, which is just down there, is not actually grown enough yet, so I'm going to wait for that to grow before we do any more mowing. Um, cleared out the manure from the cow stalls this morning which took me ages um, got four of the Joskin trailer loads full of manure out of the four pens It'll be interesting to see how much the BGA pays for that um, after the last video I sold all of the slurry that we had in the pens and that brought us in another 70 odd thousand dollars which is why the cash situation has improved uh, right, so let's get into this contract. I've used store deliveries to set it up so it will drop off the kit that comes with the contract to the field because I need to hire it because I don't have any beet harvesting equipment yet. So we are, uh, let's just show you. So I've got um, actually four harvesting contracts set up running. I'm not sure where field 11 is. Uh, oh, it's down there. Um, so we've got field 11 down here in the bottom right of the map. Uh, field 44, which is up in the middle, and then these two up at the top of the map. Um, Weirdly, field 42 that I planted with potatoes um, now seems to have sour gum in it, uh, which no idea what's happened there, but hey, so let's get this contract started, shall we? $26,000, which is not a huge amount, um, and people might not really like beet harvesting, but I quite enjoy doing stuff with beets and potatoes, and I'm more interested in the excess that we're going to get. So, uh, We'll borrow items and we'll see what we get and then we'll see what we need to bring over from our equipment that we have over in the yard. Um, so what have we got? Okay, so we've got a uh, Massey 7719 and a Massey 7722. I'm guessing the idea is that this one runs the beet harvester with the topper on the front. Hopefully it's got enough power to do that. Uh, we might bring over a better option for carting. We might bring over the uh, semi with the dump trailers. Because those trailers aren't very big and we've got to go quite a long way to cart, I think. So, will this tractor run everything, I guess, is the first question. Or do we need two tractors over here? No, that looks like it's going to run everything, so that's cool. So let's get course play set up to run the harvester because I think we're going to need to do the carting on here. Uh, we're going to want quite a lot of headlands, I think. Uh, what size the auger? We want to go clockwise. Why have headlands probably be enough? Generate course. Wow, let's do a few more headlands. We'll leave the overlap as it is. We won't do skip rows. Might do islands actually. Yeah, I think we'll do lands. 
on here so that we can get in to unload the beet harvester. Uh, save that and we will shut the beet. No, we won't use auto drive. First waypoint. This is quite a small beet harvester, for quite a big field. I wonder how long it's going to take us to do this contract. The it take probably two hours to run that. Wow. Okay. I, maybe I shouldn't have picked this, and I don't think we'll make have much of it in the video. Um, but I'm going to jump over to the farm and grab the semi because I think we're going to get a huge amount of beets off of here. And I think it's going to be much more sensible to use this. Maybe we should bring the auger wagon over as well. And next, potentially, I could set auto drive up to run the um, run the semi up to the cell point. Not far to field 17, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll grab this. I'll get the auger wagon over as well. Uh, and then I'll show you a little bit of the contract and I'll probably just run it for my own enjoyment because two hours of beat harvesting is not everyone's cup of tea. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you back over the field when we've got everything over there and uh, we'll see how we're getting on. And we're full already. Well, so the beat harvester filled up really quickly and, uh, yeah, I was, had this brilliant idea that I was going to bring over our auger wagon. Now, I'm going to drive in the crops for this. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Um, but then realised that we have a base game auger wagon, which doesn't take beats. So we're just going to dump straight into the truck. The truck does take beats. So what I'll do is fill one trailer, then drop that off, take the other trailer off of the dolly and fill that. And uh, we'll go like that. And yeah. Looks like we're doing about two hours of beet harvesting. The harvester only holds 6,000 litres and it didn't even make it part way down a long row before it was full. So this is possibly not going to be the most realistic farming in the world because I'm going to have to run by the side of it with the semi the whole time. And yeah, I'm going to be driving over the crops when I need to. So I'm going to get this contract done and I'll, uh, I'll be back when it's done and we'll probably be looking at feeding some cows at that point and sorting out some TMR. I will see you when this is done. So, uh, welcome back. It's been no time for you. It's been quite a while for me and it's been quite a productive day. Uh, managed to get a small spot where we could get one of the harvesting contracts done. Um, so that was on field 11, which was some canola. So we're only paying out 22,000. We've also got a trailer load of canola up to dump in the silo. So we'll collect that. Uh, we also finished off the beet harvesting contract, which I show you. And we've got quite a lot of uh, beets up by the silo to, di to dump as well. And $26,000, which is quite nice. And I also ran a fertilizing contract. The weather has not been good enough or long enough to get through any of these. All the kit is up by field 44, apart from the baler and the bale trailer. Uh, the bale trailer is up there. The dump trailers are not. Um, what I'm going to do now is sort out the TMR. So I've got a few things I want to sell off and a few things I want to buy and the TMR mixer I want to place. So selling first, I'm going to do it from the garage because driving it all up to the store is going to take a long time. So uh, let's scroll through. These forage trailers, we do not need. Uh, they are way too small for what we're doing. I don't think I've actually used them at all. I might have used one to run some feed out. So they're both going to go. Um, this flatbed trailer we don't need anymore. We've got the other bale trailer. So that can serve for the job we were using that for. Which was to get bales from the store. Which hopefully we don't need to do. The Anderson feed mixer. If that might saturate a bit. Um, I have edited the feed mix for the big silo that we're going to use to include at the moment at least sugar beet because we've got loads of it. Uh, we can't edit the Anderson one because it's a DLC one. So we're going to sell that as well. And I think that's everything that I wanted to sell 
at the moment. I am considering selling the fence. Um, I will explain why in a little while. Uh, so we're going to drive down to the silos, get all of the excess crops that we've got dumped into the silo. I didn't dump them so you could see how much we had. Uh, that beet harvesting contract took a while. Um, we harvested about half a million litres of beets, of which we have about 120,000 litres, I think. Uh, we'll see in a second. Uh, and then the canola was not so much and it was quite a nice little contract because the sell point was right next to where we were harvesting so uh, didn't need to worry about walker wagons or anything like that i just had the magnum running on the joskin trailer and dumping as we harvested so we have 29,000 meters or 820 bushels of canola off of that we also got some canola off of another contract that i've done so that's going to be a nice little cash crop and uh, while that's tipping that reminds me I have added in the sell price trigger mod uh, and I'm going to set that up for canola and triticale because I think I'm going to sell off the triticale as well um, I think we'll probably get a better price than that to be honest um, I'm going to set it up to about 300 and the canola I am going to set up a bit more as well. And we'll just keep an eye on the prices, I think. Um, where I changed the difficulty level, as I was playing, the, the historic prices aren't really accurate because we made it, we, I've put it to easy because the economy on here is really quite hard and I wanted to be able to make some money. Uh, so we'll jump in the very, very dirty looking semi. These guys worked really hard carting for us. And I managed to get auto drive running really well to cart the beets up to Applebee's, which is where we were selling them. And yeah, we've got 120,000 litres of beets or 185 tonnes, which is a really heavy load. So we'll get those dumped into the silo and then we'll get this TMR silo, mixing silo place. So what I've done... Um, I like Maze Plus, obviously, if you watch my channel, you'll know that. Um, and to get a little bit closer to Maze Plus and more realistic TMR, I th what I think is more realistic from what I see. Um, I don't know how much beets I used in the US for feed. I've added in up to 15% of sugar beet into the feed mix. Um, we've got the wheat harvesting contracts, and I'll probably add wheat in as well once we've got some wheat in the silo. I'm mainly doing those for the straw potential because I'll probably be putting straw into the TMR as well just to bulk it out a bit. Right, so that's everything dumped. Uh, we have got $490,000 from uh, doing those contracts. Let's place this TMR silo down. So the thing to remember with this silo, if you use it yourself, is that if you save the game with TMR in it, it vanishes what i'm going to do is set it up so that we can pretty much drive from the fill point from our big silo to the dump point and from the empty point on the tmr mixer into the dump point for the big silo so that it's easy to store it and this is one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. we're not doing any terrain modification so there's no cost for that we do need to repaint the surface so i can't remember the key to change the paint mode that one let me make that a bit bigger come on wait why are you not paying me ah oh, because maybe it's not it's actually maybe it's not a painted surface maybe it's part of the uh texture right so we're going to use the semi to mix up some tmr i am going to buy another trailer for actually feeding the tmr i've got a not really nice forage trailer that i want to pick up um, but we're going to start off with, we're going to mix a full mixer for, so that's 250,000 litres of TMR. I'm going to go for about 10% of sugar beets, so that's about 25,000 litres. I don't know what that is in tonnes, but I've got the uh, fill indicator on the top left, which I'm watching. And that's almost there. That's good enough. Um, I then want... Um, I'm going to do a trailer full of hay 
We have hay in these silos. We'll do a bit of straw and we'll do some silage. Can't quite, I don't think, get so that I can dump whilst I'm filling. No. That would have been quite cool, I think. Um, so, yeah, we're now going to switch feeding the cows to TMR. Once we've done this job, I will probably then fast forward time again until tomorrow where the weather is due to be better. We've got more rain on the way. Um, and we will get those harvesting contracts done. Uh, all of our grass is ready to cut now, but as I've probably said a few times, I am waiting to do that. I might do it on the next game day and get it out of the way. Uh, we've ground it out. A bit of, uh, bit of speed to get over that. So yeah, and if I rotate round... Because I have the feed mixer display thing on, we should be able to get that to come up. There we go. Um, so that shows us our mixing ratio of a mixture at the moment of hay and sugar beets. We'll uh, take the truck over. Need to have a look at how much we've got in here to work out how much straw and how much hay. So you, if you go up to the question mark and press E, you enter it like a vehicle. Um, and we have. 137,000 litres, so I guess it doesn't really matter how much straw I put in. It's all just saving us putting in silage at this point. So we'll put in a little bit of straw. And yeah, that's why I put it here. Um, I will probably be dumping a lot of stuff into here. Obviously, we've got the two big silage pits, which are just over there, which I'll be using for the corn silage, so that should work quite well. Straw. He promised we would find the time and we'll Dreaming that. for eternity Creating perfect memories yeah. We hoped we were gonna make it Little did I know that time would take us to a place
porridge harvester um, and I think they're, they're more realistic for feeding out because they've got the uh, the, li the little um, conveyor belt at the front uh, and it's only $42,000 so and it holds 48,000 litres um, so that's that there and then I'm going to buy the tractor now as well we've got the cash Uh, yeah, so it's the old case Traction King. Um, we're going to go for some wide wheels. And we're going to go for the biggest engine because I want to use it for field work. So that's $85,000. And that still leaves us with $180,000. Um, never used this tractor before. Um, seen people use it. I think it looks quite cool. Wow, sounds quite loud and throaty. So yeah, that's uh, kind of left the semi in the way. What wheel steering might be quite useful actually for getting this round the uh, different corrals. Uh, the other thing with this silo, apart from the fact that if you exit the game with TMR left in it, you will lose it, is that to empty it, you have to enter it again and then just hit I uh, and it will fill up the uh, forage trailer. So you have to wait, and I may end up speeding up the uh, the empty rate because it seems quite slow for something that holds 250,000 litres. This is just a, it's a different way for me making TMR. I've not used this before, and it felt like a good way to manage doing something on the scale that we're doing on here. So we'll just run through here, and then we'll go feed some cows. I'm actually going to change that off with four wheel steering, front steering. Seems a little bit too twitchy. Yeah, you know, yeah. this is quite a nice feeder setup. Yeah. So the, I'm considering selling the Fent and we'll have the Massey as the smaller tractor to run around the yard and do things like the, uh, the windrowing and the tedding. Maybe we'll sell the Massey and keep the Fent. Come on, there we go. So, how much TMR will they take? So I did clean and water them this morning. I just didn't feed them so that the uh, they ate what they had. I think one of these will almost fill the feed trough. Um, if I end up buying more cows, I'll probably stick them just on hay for a while until they're getting close to calving. Uh, I want to put them in either this pen or the next pen. The trouble is it looks a bit tricky to get the uh, trailer in there, so that could be interesting. I'm actually considering the option of just buying them at the pen and getting them delivered and paying the delivery fee. So, let's just let this finish running out and we'll see how close we are. So yeah, that's pretty much full. I think that's full enough for me because I'll probably feed them again in the morning. I need to do some straw but as well, because the, uh, it looks like the straw is going to pay quite well. So I'm going to get these girls fed and bedded up, and uh, I will probably see you tomorrow to uh, work through some of those contracts and cut some grass. should have just seen a bit of a clip of the contract that I've got running over in field 44 so I've got the combine over there harvesting we've got the magnum working on the grain cart we've got both semis over there and we've got the Massey on the baler um, you will also notice that I have a lot more money that will be because overnight we sold a bunch of manure and a bunch of slurry and uh, yeah manure pays quite well which is nice, I guess it's because I'm on easy economy and the BGA I'm using doesn't have the added difficulty factor that the rest of the stuff on the map does. Um, we're getting a lot of straw off of that contract. I've been, bailing, been running the baler uh, as it's going. Um, so we may only need to run that one. Um, I may stop at that point. What I want to do is uh, get the grass cut. Um, it's all ready to cut and we're going to 
try something different today. I'm going to lease it um, because I'm not sure whether I want to keep it long term. But it's this Rotsal Mash Windrower. Yeah, I've not used one before apart from a very small test. Did I just click buy on that? I did. That was a bit dumb. Uh, we'll just sell that back quickly. Shouldn't lose any money if I can find it. I guess we've lost a little bit of money. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I don't want to buy it. I want to lease it. That's what I get for talking while I'm doing things. Um, as I've said in the past, I think this is probably, apart from the fact that it's Rots or Mash, which is not really a brand which is used in the States, I think it's a, a more US style of mowing, although I was told by uh, one of my US viewers that actually they saw something very similar to what I have been using locally so maybe what I'm using is relevant I just fancy trying to do something different yeah pretty much all of the grass that I cut last cut over the various cuts that I've done has grown so basically my plan is to mow everything again um, this should leave us with a swath I believe um, I don't know if any, well, no, the header is folded up Yep, so we're going to get everything mowed up to dry out for hay. I not remember how far. Yeah, I did go all the way down there to cut last time. Um, this will be our last cut for the year, is my assumption. Because I don't think it will regrow again before, depending on how the uh, grass grows here in Texas, I don't think it will regrow again before winter when most things stop growing. Uh, but this should give us a huge amount of hay with everything that we have to cut. I'm not going to show cutting all of it because it's going to take a while. Um, yeah, the, the big change in financial situation has had me pricing up that AFX Connect Magnum that I keep talking about. We can afford it now, although not so much after just leasing this. So I suspect probably next episode... I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to mow this bit. Bit rough ground. We may have to level that out over the winter. Um, yeah, I am expecting that next time. Oh, no, lower. There we go. I'm expecting probably next time that we will be looking at buying our bigger tractor, our new big tractor that we want. And there are a whole load of. Um, seeding contracts for crops like wheat and stuff which can be planted now I don't think we're going to bother mowing the rest of this bit up here we'll, we'll work further down where it's a bit flatter um, yeah so that was a big wage bill $1800 I guess that's what you get when you're using a lot of workers um, yeah so probably next day we might look at buying our big new tractor the AFS Connect Magnum that I've wanted Depends if I muck out the cows or not, I might wait another day and I would like to buy more cows today probably. God, there's a lot I want to do and a lot of different ideas that I have. Uh, tomorrow we should be harvesting the corn I think. Um, but the nice thing if we can get that, and I've just brought the traction king as well, which maybe we then don't need. Um, the nice thing if we buy the, um, the AFS Connect Magnum that can probably run the cedar, it can definitely run the planter, I'm pretty sure it will run the anhydrous rig. So we'll have two tractors that can run everything, um, because if I jump in here, um, some of these sewing contracts are pretty tasty value, although maybe we don't need to do them now, although as I've said in the past, it, it gets the map to life. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to... Oh, we should actually. Maybe we will be able to afford to buy another field, which will mean we won't need to do contracts for straw. Um, I'm going to need to ponder that. I'm still thinking I'm going to buy my big tractor next time. Uh, we're going to need to lease a cotton harvester, I guess, as well. Because um, cotton, cotton's not going to be ready for a few days, so maybe we don't need to worry about that yet. 
and I've not decided whether I'm going to try and take the truck over to the animal dealer to buy some cows and get them somehow into the pen I want to use, or whether I'm just going to get them delivered. I haven't had animals delivered in quite a long time. So, that, um, that would save us a bit of a headache trying to back into the uh, very narrow, narrow alleyways that run uh, to some of the other pens and their gates, which might be easier. Um, all the cows have been fed TMR now. I ended up letting the other three pens run through the night because they had enough silage to get through the night. Um, it's probably put them a bit, little bit behind on their health, but by the time they get around to calving, they'll be fine. Uh, the health of the ones that had TMR early has jumped up a little bit more, which is nice. This is going to be a really random shape to uh, cut. So the plan with the grass is I will probably... I might have to use the loading wagon on this again. Or I might bail it. It's not going to be grass, it's going to be hay anyway. Uh, are they on the... Yes, the combine is being unloaded. Um, so I might bail this, I might loading wagon this stuff. So all of the, the random bits of the farm that I've been mowing, which aren't actually fields yet, We'll have to do that and the same with the big area down the south of the map the mm, the actual field that's grass we'll probably do what we did last time and uh, get the forage harvester out on that we i'm going to buy another one of the forage trailers that i've been using for feeding because i think that will work really well with um we've got the magnum and particularly if we buy the new magnum we'll have two tractors which can run those trailers really nicely for carting which way to go here um, actually gonna leave that bit for a second um, yeah they'll, they'll have two tractors that can that could run those really nicely to cart so we won't have to do what we did last time and lease the class tractors which were actually really nice to use and did a great job Um, so yeah, that's what my thinking is at the moment. So we'll get some loose hay that we'll put in the silo. We might actually end up putting it down in the main silo complex because it will be easier to make into TMR. Got quite a lot of hay bales left. Um, we may have to get a bale grinder actually and uh, grind those up and put them in the silo. Eventually, I think for now we'll just bale up all this loose that we're getting up here. Down there. I'm quite liking this wind dryer. And yeah, we'll end up with hopefully a fairly insane amount of hay. This will be the first time we've cut everything that we have available to cut. Um, as this, this will probably dry overnight, I would guess it might dry during the day as we're getting it cut quite early. Which means next game day we should have corn to harvest and get into the pit which we're going to use one of the two pits next to us and then we will have hay to collect and we will have hopefully a huge supply of feed on hand and then the cows will be getting close to producing milk and they'll be producing manure which seems to be our main source of income on here and things will be good and we will be making progress we can then Probably once I've cut the the field down at the bottom that we brought, I'll probably sell that off as the plan was only to keep that for long enough to cut grass. And we'll probably have a look at buying another field. Between selling that and selling manure, we might be able to buy another one of the big fields that I want to get. And um, we'll get that planted probably with a straw crop, maybe wheat or something like that. Wheat or barley and uh, that might mean we're not dependent on doing contracts to get the straw anyway um, i'm going to get all this mode up i'll probably actually let's have a quick looking cab first that's not bad is it
I think this came up mod hub. It's quite nice. Yeah, um, I'm going to get all this mode up and uh, I'll probably do some montages. I'll probably jump back to over to the harvest contract as well at some point and do a little bit of uh, show a little bit of that. And yeah, back in a bit. So I'm just down at uh, Appy's Grain. We have the first full semi of wheat to deliver on this contract. It's a seriously heavy load. Um, I should probably not have put both trailers behind this. Um, but it means we have to do less trips and the journey back should be fairly quick. So we'll see how close this gets us to finishing the contract. Um, I've not got very far with the mowing yet. This feels like I've got an insane amount of grass to cut. So we're definitely going to finish this contract and stop at that point because I think that's going to uh, need to focus on getting the grass mown and I'm not so worried about getting more straw. Uh, so that's 37% off of that. So this is almost going to finish it, isn't it? It's going to get us to 74%. So we're not going to need more than one trailer. We need less than one trailer to deliver, which is quite cool. And we've still got a bit of the field to harvest. Um, yeah, not a huge amount. But it'll be a, a nice bit of grain to put in the cow feed, I think. I don't think we'll bother selling it. Yep, so we've got six percent left to deliver to finish the contract and um, i will run this back up to the field because my attempts to use auto drive with it seemed to fail a little bit and i'm quite got a, an extensive enough network but it's pretty quick so i'll get this back up to the field and we'll get back to some mowing and as soon as i got back to the field we pretty much had a full load of bales as well to deal with so I brought these back over to the yard. There is, these are all 20,000 litre bales. So this is almost 800,000 litres of straw. So we're definitely not going to need to do those other two contracts for straw, which is the main reason that I've been doing them. I'm not actually sure where we're going to dump these. We're getting a bit short of space in slightly disorganized sheds. I'm hoping that we aren't going to get another trailer full off. I don't think we should. We might put them next to the hay bales for now. And I have to have a good tidy up in here. Unless we can pick the hay bales up from the other side. So, uh, B to show the marker position. E. Need to move over a long way. Better. Straighten up a bit. Yeah. I can probably move that a little bit. Um, move left. Always move right. That's that one. Uh, no. We need to move the truck over a bit more. But I'd just quickly show you me unloading the bales so you could see the progress we were making. Little did I realise how challenging it would be. There we go, this is going to be good enough. Alright, so the trick with this trailer to get it to unload nicely is you have to move the trigger up a little bit. And then it is Y to unload. Um, if you leave the trigger where it is, there, some of the bales get stuck in the ground and you don't end up with a nice neat stack. So back to the field, back to finishing this contract off, I think. I'll make sure I switch the mower off on the way past. And we'll come back to the mowing afterwards at this rate. So we're back down at Happy Grain. Keep forgetting the name of it. With what I think is enough left in left, left enough in the trailer now to finish the contract. Uh, in fact, there should be slightly more than we need to finish the contract. So I think we need about 25,000 litres. Yeah, so we're done. Um, everything else that we harvest is ours to keep so again I'm going to run back over to the field and we'll finish up harvesting and baling everything and uh, see where we are and then we'll get back to mowing the grass 
but I'll move back with you once I'm all done with this job. So I had a cunning plan where I was not going to do the second week contract. The problem I have is they both go to the same sell point and it's delivered against the other contract. Um, so what I'm going to do is set up a uh, course plate and auto drive to harvest that and I'm not going to bother bailing it we're just going to get it harvested and done so we don't have to fail that contract and um, so I'm going to go and get that up and running I'm slightly annoyed um, it's one of the downsides of the uh, the multiple contracts option um, is that if they're going to the same sell point I think it probably goes against the yeah look, looking in the in the contracts file in the game it looks like they go to the first contract on the list that you've got active um, so whilst I thought it was brilliant that they were going to the same sell point actually it's worked against me here um, because originally I'd planned to do both and then I changed my mind and planned to do one I guess the good thing is because I'm not going to bother bailing it we're going to chop the straw off of it I can just get the uh, the semi the magnum and the combine over there and uh, get it harvested and get it sold um, shouldn't get more than about one semi load semi semi load off and um, so i'm going to get that up and running i've already sent the bale back down to the farm uh, just for info we got another 23 bales off of there so that's uh we'll do it 39 62 bales um so uh, over 1.2 million litres of straw off of there which is pretty cool we're pretty much set for straw now um actually i wonder what this field's worth because this would be a good field for us to own uh one million yeah yeah i think that would be a good field for us to buy actually it's not too far from the farm so we may do that um Yes, I'm going to get that contract up and running, and I think we'll just leave that to cycle while we cut the grass. So, uh, see you in a bit. So, it's quite a bit later now. It's actually taken me two and a half days to get this video finished. Um, I've done both of those harvesting contracts now. I will collect those. And I'll pay back most of the money from the one we took the straw from. Uh, because we took over a million litres of straw off of it. Um, so we've made a little bit of cash out of that. Um, a lot of work, it was a lot more work than I had hoped and expected to do. Um, but while the second one was running, I've got all of the grass cut and I'm just getting that finished off. Um, drying conditions are pretty good, so hopefully overnight this will dry into hay and give us our, the last of our hay for the year. I think we're going to have quite a lot of hay on the the areas that I could actually measure. Um, so the field that's planted is grass and the area around the cotton field. We've got close to 600,000 litres off of those. Um, this area I think yielded at least 400,000 litres. So we're probably up over a million litres of hay on top of what we've already got. So. We should be good for hay to run through until spring is my hope I uh, haven't got around to buying the extra cows that I plan to do that's going to wait until the next video because I've got so much footage recorded for this as you'll know if you're still watching at this point that I just need to get this finished and end the video and uh, which is what this little section is about on day two and a half a little windrow is quite cool it doesn't have a great turning circle which I I expected a windrow to have a really good turning circle so kind of glad I didn't buy it in the end um, it was a nice experiment but we're going to go back to the mowers I think um, I've got a whole load of manure and slurry to sell again probably going to look at getting a, a conveyor belt to sell the manure um, quite slow loading them all up by hand I think it will be slightly quicker if we can park a trailer in the right place and uh, use one of the small tractors to tow a conveyor belt to it so that's all of the grass cut. I'm going to return this guy and uh, get back to the farm. And we'll leave this to dry. So thanks for watching everyone. I will catch you next time on West Texas.